Hello everyone, Vlad here. Glad to see you. We are back again in No Man's Sky Singularity Expedition 10 and today I want to make a quick exploration of whether or not we're going to need to complete this expedition more than once to unlock all the rewards. Let's jump on in. <music> All right, everybody, we are here in the Space Anomaly, and we are going to start looking at what clues we have to tell us whether or not we need to complete this expedition more than once to unlock all of the collectible items. So we are standing here in front of the uh, Quicksilver Synthesis Vendor, and we are going to use him to gather our first clue. So first thing we want to do is speak to him, and we are going to go to Collect Expedition Rewards. And we'll scroll down past some of the previous expedition things that I've unlocked. And we're going to get down to these two entries. The first one says Construct Head Atlantid. And the second one says Construct Head Crimson. And they both say Complete Expedition 10 Ignition. However, the last part of that is uh, changed to Atlantid or Crimson. So we know that there are two heads here. And that they are tied to either very similar or the same... Um, expedition milestone. So let's go ahead and exit out of him. I'll move out of the way so others can get to him pretty quickly. So let's go ahead and let's do a little bit more deep dive. Um, here is my expedition. This is in phase five and you, your screen probably looks very similar if you've reached phase five of the expedition. What are we waiting on? We're waiting on the sentience echo a milestone to be able to be completed. This is a com community milestone we have to reach a tier five of turning in what they call echo seeds to nada here in the anomaly. And those are going into some sort of simulation that nada has prepared for them. Now, um, we have these three milestones that have yet to be revealed to us. Obviously, one of these is going to allow us to complete the milestone or complete the entire expedition. That is this one here. And then we have two optional milestones. And I believe most likely these are tied to those two rewards that we saw in the um, in the, uh, con the the synthesis vendor that we just looked at. So I think one of these is going to tell you to do something to complete for the Atlantid version, and one's going to tell you to complete something for the Crimson version. Now, what have we been doing for this entire expedition? The first phase had us start on a pattern, and what we had to do was build a construct head. We presented that to the atlas, and then we created a atlas seed um, that we got from the atlas. And then we continued that pattern in phase two. We had to construct some arms, and then we had to present those to the atlas, and then we created a new seed, a variation based off of the first seed that was given to us. And we continued that in pattern in phase three, and then we continued it again in phase four. However, Phase 4 introduced something brand new, and it was called the Echo Seed. So the Echo Seed we gathered um, from a planet, and it was in, you know, disguise, found in a radiant shard type object. And we collected it, and we brought that back to Nada. She created that environment for us to put them in, uh, not before putting it into this somewhat abomination that Polo constructed. Um, I think it was meant to be using the parts we created, but... My parts were still in my inventory, and I don't know what he put together, but I think he could have rummaged around the, uh, you know, the scrap bin a little bit better to find something a little more appropriate. But it, it came to life somewhat uh, when we used the Echo Seed. Um, but we've started putting the Echo Seeds in this new location that Nada prepared. So we, at this point, have two competing divergences, right? We have a Seed of Life. We have an Echo Seed. Now this this expedition is called Singularity, so the fact that they're diverging, we have two different seeds, uh, is a little bit contradictory. So it, it may be a point where we bring them back together, um, but this is a continuing story. So it, before things can come back together, they may need to diverge and come back. Uh, so anyway, we've got two competing seeds. We've got two competing places to put the collective uh, efforts of our work with the construct too. We've got the Atlas seed and we've got these Echo seeds. So I think what's going to happen once we reach 
tier number five of this Sentience Echo uh, community event is we're going to be able to claim it. We're going to get some sort of message here as the final uh, milestone. We're probably going to have to fully construct all the parts that we have put together. Uh, you know, Polo technically somewhat did it over in phase four, but we haven't actually done it. All these parts are still in our inventory. And um, I believe these two are going to be a choice, right? I don't necessarily think we're going to be able to present or bring to life our construct with this, the seed from the Atlas or the echo seeds we've been collecting with Nada. I think we're going to have to choose to either use that seed of hope, the final one we got from the Atlas, or we're going to have to use the echo seeds to give that construct life and to kind of determine what its um, place is inside of the universe. So um, that is my take on it. I could be completely wrong. It may be one of those things similar to phase four where we were able to present both our construct to Nada and also to the Atlas, and that would allow us to complete both of these milestones without having to make a choice or having to replay this expedition. However, um, I know a lot of you are pressed for time. We don't have a lot of time to spend on this. Um, so if you know that you have to complete it more than once, uh, then that would be the benefit to you. You could kind of make progress on a second save as needed. And I would recommend doing that because we may end up having to make a choice here in these two optional milestones. And, um, you know, if you're completionist like me, you'll probably want to unlock both of those different types of customizations. So uh, I would recommend go ahead and possibly starting a new save to be able to make the secondary choice uh, once we reach it, if it comes to pass. And if you don't, you can still progress, have fun in the game, and you can um, still contribute to this community uh, tier five uh, goal for the sentience echo portion of the expedition. Uh, you'll just be able to contribute on two saves instead of one. And uh, for everybody else who doesn't care, they, they just need to collect most of the gear and get through it so they know what the story was, then um, then you don't have to worry about it at all. So do what works best for you, but I believe that all signs point to us having a very high chance of having to complete this more than once to get all of the rewards from this phase uh, or this expedition. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. I hope that my conspiracy theory um, has intrigued you somehow. Hopefully we'll find out soon which way uh, we it will go, whether we have to do this more than once. Um, I did see that today when I logged in, uh, that it was had reached tier two, and that it is about, we're at a, about a week since it originally posted. I expect that we'll probably hit tier five somewhere um, into the third week of the expedition, which is again why I wanted to present this early, so that if you do want to kind of make sure you've got all your bases covered, and you need to start a second save, that you have plenty of time to do it, um, because Nothing sucks than, than trying to play a game, but it, treating it like work and having to rush through things um, at the very last minute, that type of thing. So um, I would suggest creating your second save, you know, casually working through it if you can. Enjoy your time and experience with this expedition. And then if we have to make that hard choice, you're prepared and you can unlock all the rewards. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for the latest content from Vlad Administrator Gaming. Join our Discord. The link is down in the description. And until next time, I'll see you around the cosmos.